Hey guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a curve shape in Flutter uh, for a container which will look similar to a water wave. So for this, we are going to make use of Clip Path widget with custom Clipper class. Okay, so let's understand how to give a curve shape like this to a container. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here is a Flutter project being opened and you can see over here, I have created a scaffold widget which has a stack widget which contain a container and the container is been colored with black color and you can see the output over here. Okay, so now for this container, I want to give a curve wave shape, something like this. Okay, so for this, we can make use of clip path with the custom clipper property okay so for this all you need to do is just wrap this widget with clip path widget okay so now we need to just give a path for a cutting a shape okay so here we have a property called as clipper to this clipper we just need to pass a function or a class okay so let's create a class over here so here let's create one new class and i will just name it as buzzer curve okay so this class will extend a property called as custom clipper okay and this custom clipper uh, will return type will be of type path okay and now with this custom cl clipper we have two overriding method that we just need to import so just hover over this class and just import this two overriding method okay so one is get clipper and one is should recap okay so there is no use of it so we just remove this and just return true okay and all you need to do for cutting the shape is in this function okay so here we just need to give some shape okay so let's do that so before that let's call this function or a class over here in clip path clipper property okay so now here uh, let's create a path for cutting okay and then path dot line zero and the second parameter is y axis that is size dot height size dot height into 0 0.75 okay so let me explain you what it this this does exactly so let me type the code first okay so here as you see the clipper is making use of a class that is that we have created custom class okay and here i am just making use of clip path and here i have just defined a dummy uh, path to cut and then it is just returning the path that has been defined over here so let me hot refresh and check the output okay so the app got refreshed so you can see uh, this shape has been uh, provided so you can see I will just explain you what happens over here so here I am just traveling from point zero to the height of the container that has been passed for example I am just uh, traveling from this point to this point okay by this code okay and then from this from so this is the current position of the path so from this path I am just traveling to uh, y axis zero position so this is the point okay so now i just need to give a curve effect something like this over here instead of traveling directly to this point i just need to give a curve effect over here okay so for this we can make use of quadratic buzzer to path so here path dot quadratic buzz two okay so here we need to pass three parameters one is y axis y1 y2 and y1 y2 okay so here size dot width into 0 0.25 size dot height dot height into 0 0.5 size dot width into 0 0.5 and then y2 size dot height 
into 0 0.75 okay so let's check the output by refreshing the app so you can see a curve shape has been achieved okay so now what is happening over here is so first of all we are going to traveling from 0 to the uh, bottom of this container and after that I am just using quadratic buzzer to to give this shape over here so from this point I am just giving a curve to this point okay so now from the current position I am just traveling to the uh, last position that is y axis 0th location okay and now what I need I just need to go from this point downwards like this curve okay so I just need to create one more quadratic bus too so I will just do that okay so this time we just need to do it reverse so first have we gone up so we just need to come down and go up okay so here size dot width into 0 0.75 size dot height into 1 size dot width and size dot height okay so let me hot refresh and check the shape what we get so you can see i got this curve shape yeah okay so but i wanted to go this something like this right so here i have just missed one point that is i just need to multiply it by 0 0.75 so let me refresh so you can see now it is just perfect wave shape okay so let me explain you once again what it has been doing so here in this with this code i am just traveling from this point that is zero position to a container size okay so now the cursor is over here so once the cursor is over here i am just giving a quadratic bus to property to give this shape so from this shape i am just traveling to this point okay and now by this code i am just going down and creating one more curve up to this point okay and then finally from this point so you can see my cursor from this point i am just traveling creating one line to travel it back to this point okay so by this i have just achieved the curve shape for a container okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you